If you went to the RPAC on Monday, you may have seen a few familiar faces. The Body Image and Health Task Force at OSU held its annual Body Image Bazaar as Eating Disorder Awareness Week begins this weekend. It's to focus on body image awareness, what is body image, how can we make it healthy, and then what sorts of attitudes and behaviors do we engage in. So attitudes of pride or shame and behaviors such as healthy eating or unhealthy eating or healthy exercise and so on. The Bazaar also attempts to educate students on issues outside of eating disorders, such as proper dietary supplement usage and healthy workout habits. We have quite a few on proper ways of weight training and good nutrition for the athlete, be it elite athlete or recreational athlete. We have boards on um, healthy eating as well. We have boards on supplement use. We have boards on diversity, so what body image and behaviors are in specific ethnic populations or gay and lesbian populations. Sarah Husk, a teaching assistant in the College of Education and Human Ecology, addresses the myths behind reality weight loss shows that might seem believable at first, but have more to them beyond what viewers see on TV. Shows like The Biggest Loser, um, Khloe Kardashian has a new show called Revenge Body, and so we were talking about that and how there's actually a ton of health consequences that aren't really positive that come from shows like that. Um, if you look online, you can find a lot of things talking about just how unhealthy The Biggest Loser actually is because, you know, when you go on a diet, it's perfectly normal to lose five pounds maybe in the first week because it's kind of like the initial shock for your body. But after that, you're really only supposed to lose maybe one pound a week, two max. She acknowledges that while it is easy to make comparisons with representations of bodies in the media, she hopes people learn how easy body image can be distorted through editing techniques. So a lot of times what you're seeing in magazines and with celebrities, that's not even what they really look like, you know, because they have people to smooth out their skin or to make their cellulite go away, when that's perfectly normal and just about every person I know has some. And so I really hope that, you know, people understand that it's okay to be human and to have these flaws that aren't really flawed. Although it may seem better to work out daily, Sarah also emphasizes that students stick to a manageable schedule when working out. I mean, we're students too, so we have to balance a lot of things at one time. So, you know, you can't always go to the gym as many times a week as you'd like to, but as long as you're going every now and then, that's better than nothing. And to understand, you know, cut yourself some slack because we're human. For Lantern TV, I'm Elizabeth Suarez.